No, you weren't. I was here first, in spirit. Oi! I need to clean my teeth. Well, I need to clean my teeth too. I need the toothpaste. Yes, Worm, and I need the toothpaste too. I need it more than you and don't call me Worm. No, you don't. My teeth are bigger than yours. So is your head. What did you say? And anyway, you haven't had your breakfast yet. That's true. There, all done. Hmm. Mom! Morning, Worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. Morning, Henry. Finishing off your homework, honey bun. Oh, no, I did all my homework last night. I'm doing some extra number gnomes colour work. Oh, well done, Peter. Henry! Don't be horrid, Henry. Yes, don't be horrid, Henry. What? Oh, just getting the cereal. Well, you can just get the cereal more carefully, can't you? I suppose. Henry! Right, that's it, Henry. Go and brush your teeth. But I've brushed my teeth already. Well, go and do something useful then. OK. I've been meaning to sort out my snot slimers for a while. I guess now will be a good time to do it. Henry! Henry. You're no match for me, whoever you are. Sign a selfie. It's OK. She's run out of batteries. Hey, I was watching that. <laughs> Quiet time now, Henry. You know that. No, I don't. What's quiet time when it's at home? It's when we spend some quiet time together before going up the wooden stairs to Bedfordshire. Oh, how are we even related? Can't I watch TV quietly? Gross Class Zero isn't quiet. No, it's not. Then can I watch something else? Something educational? Something like Go For Your Greens? Well, I did read something the other day that said that watching TV isn't really all that bad for you. Great. It's on Channel 247. Thanks, Worm. When we think about greens, we not only think about greens, but yellows and reds and oranges too. Riveting stuff. That's the last time you'll ever do that. Henry! All right, all right. I'll watch it quietly. <gasps> Henry, you're on my side. What do you mean, on your side? You're on my side of the sofa. No, I'm not. I'm just on the sofa. And if you're the sort of person who mixes up their wobble and their wriggle, Mom! then you're absolutely What in is the it, right Plum Dust? Plum Dust? Henry's on my side of the sofa! Henry? Henry? Hmm? Sorry, Mum. I was thinking about whether I mix up my woggle and my wiggle. What? Mum? Sorry, Peter. Look, how about we make this the dividing line? There. Now you each know which side of the sofa is yours. Oh, thanks, Mum. So my advice is, if in doubt... Henry? Hmm? Oh, yes. Thanks, Mum. Fluffy! Henry! She's your cat. No, she's not. Is. Isn't. Henry, I'll tell on you. Henry! Only joking. Henry! Mom! Turn that music down, Henry! What did you say? Oh, 
I said you crossed the line, Worm. What line? And don't call me Worm. There's the line and you crossed it. <sighs> there. Is that better? Yeah. I'll make sure you stay there. <sighs> All right, Henry. If that's how you want to play it. Good morning. Henry, time to wake up. You're going to be late for school. Oh, uh, good morning. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Worm. Not so fast, Henry. You're stepping on my side of the bathroom. How am I supposed to go to the toilet? Oh, well, I suppose you can't. What do you mean I can't? Well, it looks as though it's on my side, so you can't. My toothbrush is on your side too. Oh, yes. Looks like it is. But, but... But what, Henry? But how am I going to get my toothbrush? Submit this paperwork in triplicate. Who to? To the Associate General, that's me, who will submit it to the Grand Master General, that's also me, who will consider your request. And how long will that take? Three days. Three days? And what about using the toilet? You are joking! Best you don't see this. No, no, no. Henry? What do you think you're doing? Just looking for the cereal. It's already on the table, Henry. Thanks. I love these sweet tweets. So do I. Henry! Oops. Sorry, Dad. Come on, boys. I'll drop you off. I don't know what's got into you, Henry. Ah, I'm ready, Mum. Come on, Henry. You can help me find my car keys. I ask you, is this fair? <laughs> Tea's ready, boys. What? All's fair in love and war. I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but it looks like fun. Like I said, Mum, it's an experiment for school. Where are the chips? Oh, I thought we'd be posh tonight and help ourselves. Three, two, one. My colouring book. Yes. It's on your side. Yes. I don't suppose... Nope. You'll need a visa. Oh. And a letter of recommendation. From who? The President of the United States of America. Quiet time, boys. I love quiet time. What are you looking at, Worm? Step aside, Worm. And number gnome four said to number gnome two, let's share and care and be friends forever. No! That's 
so fast, Henry. Another word for annoying. Six letters. Peter. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. And anyway, that's five letters, not six. Where are you off to? Oh, just off to get some fresh air. Oh, no, you're not. Why not? You're always going on at me to get some fresh air. There's fresh air and there's fresh air. What's that supposed to mean? It means that this morning, when there are chores to be done, is not a fresh air morning. But that's not fair. What's not fair? Anyway, I've got a job. You've got a job? You didn't tell us. Well, I nearly got one. Only I overslept and by the time I got there, someone else had got it. So you haven't got a job? Well, no. So can I go and get some fresh air or not? N-O spells no, Henry. That's really not fair. Henry, don't be horrid. Oh, I know. Vexing. Too right. No, that's the answer to my clue. Annoying, six letters. Vexing. Funny, that. Oh, it's so not fair. My mean, horrible parents don't want me to get any fresh air and all they ever want me to do at weekends are chores and more chores while they just sit around reading the newspaper and doing the I'm a lady crossword. It's so not fair. I don't even know if I can be bothered to yell anymore. You're only joking. You were going out. Well, I was till Mum decided she didn't want me to get any fresh air. Maybe she's figured out that you were only trying to get out of doing your chores. That's not true. I was really enjoying all that fresh air. And if you expect me to believe that, Henry, then I'm a bigger fool than you think I am. Um, yes. Yes what, Henry? I think the answer to what you just said is yes. Don't think, Henry. Do. What's that supposed to mean? It means that my bin is next to my cello, waiting for you to empty it. Where are you going? To catch up on my Number Gnomes box set. And maybe a few episodes of Grow Your Greens, too. How come you never get told to get some fresh air? It's probably because I'm good at everything I do, so Mum doesn't think I need any more fresh air. Huh, he's not that good at everything. He's pretty rubbish at air guitar. And yo-yo. And... I'll think of something else. I've always wanted to have a go. <laughs> Here goes! This is quite fun. Phew! It's hard work, that. What are you doing? Playing a bit of cello. Yeah, sure. Where is it? Where's what? The tablet or the CD player or whatever it was you were using to play the music. It was me. Like I said, Henry, if you expect me to believe that, I'm a bigger fool than you think I am. And like I said, Peter, the answer's yes. Yes what? Yes, I do expect you to believe it, cos it's true. Henry, don't! Don't what? Don't... <laughs> Just played Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> I wonder what the bees were doing there. But you can't do that. <laughs> yes, I can. I can do this. And I can do this. Stop! Stop! Why? It's fun. It's not. It's not fun at all. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not meant to be fun. What are you talking about?
talking about? It's meant to be really hard work. And you have to practice loads. And then, if you're lucky, and only if you're lucky, you get to be good. Maybe, if you're you. But I'm me, and it looks like I'm quite good at playing the cello. Yes, it does. Cheer up, Peter. It's not like I'm going to be a world-famous cello player. A world-famous cellist. And you might be. Well, now you come to mention it. Hang on, I'm enjoying myself. It's just not fair. What's not fair? You're not allowed to play Blight of the Bumblebee, and you're especially not allowed to play it brilliantly. Or else... Or else... Or else... I'll find something that you think you're good at that I'll be better at. Like what? Like being horrid. Ha! You could never be more horrid than me. Wanna bet? He's so horrid. He's the horridest. <sighs> like, you haven't seen horrid till you've seen Peter. Won't work. You're not horrid just because you walk with a swagger and put on a pair of dark glasses. All right, then. So, Peter, perfect no more? <sighs> That's right. I mean, look at you. Even your hair is horrid. Thank you. I mean, uh, yeah. What about it? Well, what else is horrid? Rawr. You've got a hamster. It's a rat called Killer. All right. There's no need to have a go at Fang. That is horrid. Told you I could do it. What else have you got up your sleeve? Buddy turns out to be a cereal cereal eater. That's quite funny. A cereal cereal eater. <laughs> I haven't finished yet, Henry. And I understand your air guitar video is trending on YouGroove. Yeah, it's called How to Be Horrid, and it's really horrid. Come on, that's really not believable. Yes, it is. I've been practicing in secret. Really? OK, then, show me. Oh, he takes everything so seriously. <laughs> All right, then, impress me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's out of tune. <laughs> Quite impressed. My Yugru fans are quite impressed too. Very impressed, I'd say. What? You're on Yugru! Told you I'd been practicing. <laughs> that's not fair! I'm the one that's good at air guitar! Just like I'm the one that's good at the cello! All right then. I won't play the cello if you don't play the air guitar. Deal? Deal. Honestly, Peter, one day I'm seriously going to have to teach you how to high-five. Oh, there you are. That cello sounded lovely, Peter. You really are doing well with your practising. Oh, uh, thank you, Mum. 
Like my air guitar, Mum? Yes. Very, um, noisy. 